Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 65, NASDAQ up 3, S&P's down 1.5, gold contract up $6.50, trading at $16.79 an ounce. We have silver down 49 cents, $18.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $2.17, $87.19 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 8 ticks, trading 111.12. The 30 year up 10 at 124.31. And King Dollar. King Dollar is uh, up 87 ticks, trading 113.03. The euro is at 96. The yen is at 146, and the British pound is at 110 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's take a look at the futures first. You've been in a consolidation all day long. Each time it tries to get up to higher price, it's sold down. And you can see this has been a tight consolidation. We haven't been in a consolidation like this for a while. Uh, bottom line, that well, overnight you had a high out there is 36, uh, 35. But since the market's been open, it's really like 36.20 down to approximately 36, uh, no, 35.92. That's still 30 points, but it, it, it's interesting. It's 30 points, but it, it feels like it's like a small consolidation compared to where we're in. That's that's how this is shaking out. That's in your um, E mini. So if we take a look at the NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs. Inside the NQs out here, you can see this consolidation. They, they kind of get it down, but guess what? It's not going up either. So the top of this uh, consolidation has been approximately the uh, 10,925 uh, into that low out there of the uh, 10,805. Uh, now, if we that being said, okay, the bottom line is that you get tremendously light volume here. Okay, so the real question is going to be. Are you going to find buyers? A buyer is going to come into this and try to jack it up. Um, it doesn't look to me like that's going to happen today. You know, um, we go into the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract uh, down 650. Uh, now you had another contraction of volume, so you went lower today. It rejected 1668. Uh, the low of yesterday. Let's see what this was. So yesterday we did. 172,000 contracts, low is 1667. Today, 124, low is 1668. You know, so that's saying gold one, and, and by the way, both of those are going against 215,000. So, you know, now let's go to the SPY. The, this is still saying the market wants to bounce. Um, the real question is going to be, you know, are there going to be any buyers that come in? And the Fed, so the Fed minutes come out, folks. And when you take a look at these Fed minutes, it looks to me that the, the bottom line is that, um, you know, they commit, okay, the Federal Reserve committed to raising rates to a restricted level in the near term, holding them there for it to curb inflation. Several participants noted, particularly in the highly uncertain global economic and financial environment, it would be important to cal calibrate the pace of further tightening with the aim of mitigating the risk of significant adverse effects on the economic outlook. So during the meeting, U.S. Central Bank has agreed to boost benchmark lending 75 basis points for the third time, lifting the target rate to 3 to 3.25. And uh, bottom line is that what they're going to try to do here, uh, we're 3 to 3.25, and they want this thing close to, there it is right there. They want this at 4.4 by the end of the year. So, and when you, you do the numbers on that, if you get, let's say we take the top end of it, that really is saying that, okay, 75 basis points comes in at the November, I think it's November 2nd meeting. And then on the December meeting, let's see, 
meetings, calendar. So you have, yeah, November 2nd, uh, bottom line, probably 75 basis. December 14th, 50 basis, that gets you where they want to go. Yeah. And, you know, the, the bottom line is that restrictive-wise and, you know, the squeeze, what they're saying in, their, in, in those notes do not correspond to what's going on in the markets, nor in uh, what basically the rate structure or the dollar is uh, basically doing to uh, not only our economy, our economies everywhere, that will um, throw many people out of jobs. That's the bottom line. So that's where they're going to have to balance this thing. Uh, We'll find out whether they want to balance it or not. Or they're just going to go for the whole uh, chicken caboodle. So, um, you know, and I think a lot of this right now is going to contingent on the aspect of you and I and the market in general as to how we perceive how they are going to continue to go forward. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah. And, of course, not continue to go. That, that's on a fundamental basis. On a reality basis, it's going to come down to the point, you know, the faster the rate structure goes up, the more folks that will have, they're, are going to be in trouble. Um, and it's not going to be, it's, 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 it, what happens with all of these folks, it's not really you and I, you know, it's always large funds, sovereigns, pension funds that get in trouble and you know like you had the, the theory like uh, the Reagan economics if everything comes down you know well the bottom line is that uh, when you have these huge events um, the bottom line it hits everyone and it hits everyone really quick so you know we'll see where the whole thing shakes out what's going to be intriguing of course if we go over to London is that you know that Bailey he's claiming that uh, by Friday they got to clean up their balance sheets. Well, we'll see what happens there, and we'll see exactly what that brings on to the marketplace. Dow Industrials are up 69 right now. NASDAQ's up 6. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.